Good morning, Anaheim. It is Mike Lister from the city of Anaheim and happy April to everyone. We have March behind us and we all know what a difficult month that was. Now, of course, April is going to be a challenge as well. The same stay at home, except for essential exceptions, remains in place that we lived with in March, continues now in April. We will continue to update you. We are all following California's orders, which were until further notice, which means that we continue to go week by week and we continue to try and manage case counts and the outbreak here. So regarding cases, we are about four to five days into reporting of cases specifically for Anaheim and other cities. We, as of Tuesday, were at 46 cases here in Anaheim out of 502 in the whole of Orange County. Now, while no one wants to see cases in Anaheim or anywhere in Orange County for that matter, we are not surprised or alarmed by the number of cases that we have here. They are 9% of the county's total, and we represent about 10% of the county's population. So we will see case counts grow, both here in Anaheim and in Orange County. But the critical thing we are watching is that baseline. Do we remain about 10% of the county's cases? again reflecting our portion of the county's population. So that's something we will be watching knowing the case counts will go up. And keep in mind, over the past few days, we've seen very small increases. Maybe one case on a particular day or from Monday to Tuesday, we saw four additional cases. But we could see days where we see bigger jumps. We could go back to smaller jumps as well. So just know that that is going to happen as well and continue to track where we are as a percentage of the county's overall cases. Now, the other thing to track is that as of Tuesday, and we will get updates to all of these midday Wednesday, but as of Tuesday, the county was nearing about 7,000 tests that had been done. And again, we have 502 cases countywide. So if you do the math on that, that is a positive rate of about 7% and a negative rate of 93%. That's very important to know. That means the vast majority of tests are coming back negative. We want to continue to watch that and make sure that positives do not go higher than 10, 15 percent. They've consistently been stay, staying, excuse me, somewhere between 5 and 10 percent. So that is another thing that we continue to watch. Now I want to just check some information and provide some other updates to you. If you watch the news, which I know we all do, and we see reports nationally or even regionally about hospitals and the incredible role that they are playing, and we take a moment and we thank everyone in healthcare for the amazing job they are doing, but we also hear about strain on hospitals. So we will share with you the best information that we have regarding hospitals here in Anaheim and all of Orange County. They are currently operating at about a 65% capacity. That is actually a good thing. That shows that they are not at maximum capacity and there is still room to cope with what will be additional cases. 25 hospitals in Orange County and some here in Anaheim that have emergency rooms, they are all fully operational. 17 of those 25 emergency room hospitals have surge tents set up to handle overflow patients should they be needed. So essentially these are field hospitals that they might set up in a parking lot. So that is just to give you some peace of mind that while our hospitals are of course feeling some strain, that there is additional capacity and they certainly stand ready to handle additional cases. Now with testing, testing still remains on a priority basis here. Uh, it is being done at hospitals first and foremost, at nursing homes and other residential care facilities where you could have a high risk of an outbreak spreading among those at the facility. And of course it is being given to first responders because we need them back on the front lines, healthcare providers and others who are serving others. We will continue to track broader availability of testing, but that remains the situation here in Orange County. We are happy to report that all 
Anaheim Fire and Rescue firefighters and paramedics are available for duty. None are in self-isolation. As of a few days ago, we did have about 15 in self-isolation because of potential exposure risk. They are now all cleared, and we certainly thank them and wish the best to all of our first responders. Now, on public gatherings at parks, we are hearing about and looking into concerns that some have raised with us about people gathering in parks and also questions about businesses, whether they should be operating at this particular time. On businesses, keep in mind that many are considered essential under the state stay-at-home order. That includes construction, which we have gotten some inquiries about, and you're probably hearing some news about that out of Los Angeles today. But construction is allowed, and we encourage everyone at every construction site to practice physical distancing and to follow other best health practices for employees and for the larger community. Now, we have seen people at our parks. This is a delicate one. We want people to go enjoy our parks. We want you to walk your dog. We want you to walk around our parks. And we want you to gather with immediate family members, those in your household. But what we cannot have is gatherings of beyond immediate family members, immediate household members. So think, as painful as this is for all of us, soccer games, basketball games. You can't have a really good basketball or soccer game without six, eight, ten people. So we know that those are gatherings that would go beyond typically what is in a household of immediate family members. So when we encounter these, you are going to see our park rangers go up and educate. We're going to ask for voluntary compliance. We do have other resources available to us, but at this point we're asking for your help. And we know it's a huge sacrifice and it pains us. We know that that is what our parks are for, but this is an exceptional time and we're asking for your help and your voluntary cooperation at this time. At some parks, you will see some parking lots closed. Those parks will remain open for those walking of dogs, small immediate family gatherings. Think of dad and son throwing a ball together where there can be social distancing. So, but you may encounter some parking lots closed and that is to discourage larger gatherings. Moving on to other things here at Anaheim City Hall, our planning and building department continues to operate with a drop-off and pickup location. I'm here in the lobby and we've actually seen people come and drop off plans uh, as we sit here. Our planning and building staff continues to help customers over the phone and also via FaceTime and Skype. So please know those critical projects, we can keep those moving. Businesses, we have heard heartbreaking stories and we know what's happening. Uh, I have myself have talked to businesses who have seen their operations come to a standstill. We know the impact this has on business owners, on employees, and, and frankly it's heartbreaking. We do have some business resources available. If you go to anaheim.net slash coronavirus, which is our central source of information on coronavirus. On the right hand side you will see a icon there for business resources. Resources for employees, for employers, and we would encourage you to check that out. We know what a difficult time this is. Now lastly, on a related item, today is Census Day. Uh, the 2020 census is still here and with us. We encourage everyone to fill out the census from Anaheim. It takes on new importance in the time we are now with coronavirus. The census will be part of our recovery. We as a city are looking forward to the day, which we hope is a matter of weeks, where we can actually begin recovering and resuming some life as normal, taking all precautions and of course when it is safe to do so. But we will need resources. We will need resources from the federal government, from the state government, and our count from the census will be vital for that. So please fill out the census. There's no risk in doing so. You are required to do it by law, but that's not the reason why you should do it. You should do it for Anaheim to help us recover. So with that, I encourage everyone to continue checking anaheim.net slash coronavirus for updated case counts and other news and information. And please follow the City of Anaheim on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you and looking forward to 
a good April, as good as it can be. Thank you.